hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i am here to share with you a project that i've created um i used scrap diva designs dies and i also use the maggie holmes bloom paper pad this one right here now this is a uh co collab video for Mari. she is fun paper art here on youtube every monday she is doing a maggie holmes collab so we are to upload a video using maggie holmes paper any any paper pretty much and this is what i chose to work with i really love this collection i love this this is probably my favorite paper which i was i didn't realize that this paper only has one sheet of each but anyways here are the dies that i used this is the sand bucket and I made, um, I actually, these embellishments right here are embellishment. I made these into embellishments that I've had. And all I did was just add it to the bucket. And the bucket, <laughs> I always take long to make like boxes because I think they're going to be hard. But it wasn't, you guys. If I have not watched the tutorial, so if I was able to do it on my own, you can certainly do it on your own as well. So this bucket was really easy to make. I literally just made this. I just finished it. It took me like, I don't know, maybe an hour um, only because I couldn't decide um, what design paper to put in the front and what to use as a shaker. And I, what I love about a lot of these Scrap Diva design um, dies is that it has a shaker component. Now I did not use, obviously the one that I made is not like, you know, beach theme. So I did not make, I did not use the stars or the sandals or even the shovel. I didn't use any of that. Um, but I just made the, just the box itself. So let me show you my project, you guys. And here it is. Now, I will tell you that I did watch Tina's, uh, she is Crafty Bean here on YouTube. And I did watch her video. And I love the fact that the handle, what she did was, so it can move she used brad so i did the same thing so thank you tina for pointing that out because i really love that idea um and i'm so glad i was actually watching her video today and she mentioned that and so i did the same thing but i only had these tiny little uh brads but it's okay um and then on this side this is just from something from hobby lobby and then all I did was add this really pretty bow that I got from AliExpress and that bead right there. Also from AliExpress. It's just plastic, you guys. But it adds just a little bit something more to the box. And I think it's so pretty. And here is the front, you guys. And it's a shaker. And look, I have to tell you guys that I absolutely love. I am so in love with, the, with this butterfly. I actually was supposed to add a bow, but I really love these butter butterflies, to be honest with you. That's why I made so many of them. And then here is that, um, I, I, don't, I don't know what she calls it on the website, but this is the die set right here. And look how pretty. And I love these flowers. These flowers are so pretty, you guys. And I made a bunch of them and I have I'm running really low that means I'm gonna have to make more but they are so easy to make and I just love the way it looks you guys and I love that it's a shaker uh, by the way I do believe that Erica has a tutorial on her channel on how to put this together but you guys like I said I didn't watch a tutorial it's so easy to put together um, but if you need help, she does have a video on that. And, um, I didn't do anything to the inside. All I did, you can't tell because it's black. Uh, but the very, you know, the, the bottom, I did line it just because I didn't want the tabs to be showing. And then I also lined the in the, just the sides right here with black cardstock, just so you couldn't see the tabs and because um, I used too much glue too much um, liquid glue so it spilled so I did I wanted to cover that up cover all that mess but anyways here is my box you guys and I think it's so pretty and it's a really nice size you guys I mean look at my hand and look at the width it's a really good size you can certainly fill 
fill it up with lots and lots of goodies. And yeah, so this is my project um, for Scrap Diva Designs and for the collab, uh, it is hashtag Maggie Holmes collab. And I'll have that hashtag down in the description box so you can click on it and see what others have created if they've been using the tag that is it for today thank you so much for watching you guys and i hope you like this box it is so cute i will have a link to scrap diva designs online store um and down in the description box as well as to her social media and to and the video the invitation video where Madi says um you know you're invited to um to join the collab all right. Thank you all for watching and hope you all are having an amazing day. Bye, everyone.